what Chirp does is it renders a better definition image of the bottom and structures just off the bottom. So with Chirp, it's going to be easier to identify individual fish. It's going to be easier to identify fish just on the just off the surface of the bottom. Uh, without Chirp, it might not read that as a fish. It might read it as part of the bottom. If you had a bunch of fish close together like you do in here, if you didn't have Chirp, it might read it just as a large blob rather than individual fish. Okay, let's start with the bottom image. Now you see we got a really thick red line here. And what that's indicating on this fish finder is we're on a very dense or hard bottom. The thicker that red is, the denser it is. So we've got a hard bottom here, maybe hard packed sand, and you see we've got a much thicker red area here. So we've got rocks or something because we're getting very strong feedback from the sounder. And basically the way a fish finder works or a traditional uh, sounder works is it